G'day guys and welcome to the 2024 Vic Open presented by the Flying Disc Store. A huge thanks to Gatekeeper Media and Park Media for creating and sharing this Aussie disc golf content. We are at the Inverlee Disc Golf Course in Victoria for this ADG major event. My name is Andrew Ferguson and I'm joined with Tim Bowen, Paddy Robinson and we're the Tee Off Podcast on the comms again. Yeah, stoked to be back for round two. It's, uh, it was a pretty exciting round one with uh, Dill Feldman shooting a seven, Dave Perry close behind him with a six and Alex Kinaston with a five and we see Luke Bain join us with a four down. He was a sneaky uh, last minute entry into this tournament. Now he's in the, you know, in the driver's seat. Few boys chasing Aussie D, three down and Ryan Hart also three down. Paddy, you're there too? Uh, yeah, just, just snuck the in there. One benefit of being old, I got to sneak onto Chase Card. There we go. As we take a peek at hole 185 metre par four, throw a forehand off the box, get to this landing zone here or a backhand turnover. Then the trickiest thing is just throwing this low ceiling shot that somehow gets over this mound to a very protected basket. Good opener hole, this one. What a beautiful it day is. we've got here at Inverlee too. Nice and sunny. You can't see it, but you've got the, the beautiful Inverley Clubhouse behind you there where everyone goes and gets a nice frothy afterwards. Mm. And a good old-fashioned Aussie Sanger. Yeah, they get a Foster's and a Triple X. <laughs> Dylan, throwing his Maverick here. Friendly, friendly, could be a little skinny. Hey. Oh, oh, he's going through the gap. I'm already and hearing the Lukey Bain friendlies, and that was definitely friendly. He went through the V. Who the hell goes through the V? Well, he does on the other, what, hole 11, but not that yeah. one. So Dave with another backhand. Very surprised. Very surprised. This guy has got that low forehand in spades. Speaking of spades, there's one on his back. <laughs> <laughs> Being the Flying Disc Store sponsored team member. Good segue there, Ferg. Thank you very much. Yeah, you guys didn't rehearse that for five minutes before. No. <laughs> Turning. Oh, that's fantastic. That's huge. Massive, actually. How was Bainey somehow louder than us on comms? <laughs> <laughs> Impressive. As we uh, take a peek, the uh, young gun Alex had a very up and down round one. Got a lot of birdies, a lot of birdie looks. Hit the band quite a few times. Does, he, does his hat have an A on it for Alex? <laughs> Potentially. It's a little too turned over as well, but getting to that landing zone, yeah, it's short he'll enough. have something to work like with it. there. Luke Bain, current Aussie champ. Go on the forehand on here. I don't mind this. Just can't let it leak out too far to the right. Very, right. very strong forehand player, Luke Bain. And here he is with, I think it's his Haley King Firebird, this one. Does that make it more of a stable? Ooh, that doesn't is going look like it. Nope. <laughs> doesn't, no. doesn't look like it, Paddy. <laughs> oh, no, that, you that thing came back. Uh, maybe. All right. Wow. wow. Jury is out on that one. Oh, I think that hit a tree. Surely. So Dill's going the flex forehand with the pickle around the mound. Oh, this could be a little long. Nah, that's great. That's a high. Excellent shot. As long as you get past that like low hanging branch, that can just block you from C2 if you're too short and too right. Oh, Dylan's got his dad on the back. Bainey next to act. That one's too turned over. Oof. Hit a tree. Should be an easy up and down for the par. Actually, uh, Funny bit of fun fact. Uh, Luke Feldman, Dylan's dad, doesn't come out and watch him play disc golf because he reckons he's, a, he's bad luck. Oh. There you go. <laughs> Superstitious. Bad, bad jujus. Yeah. Oh. So hoping we don't have a <laughs> bad round from Dill. Dave Perry from the Mando, although it's not from the Ooh. Mando. That one's, yeah, he's just going to put that out left and just stayed there. He might have a look though. Hmm. Long. He's, he's like left of all the low hanging stuff, so he'll have clean air. He might just be a little far out for the run, but we'll see. So Bainey with a little Toro up shot. Ooh. Oh, almost ringing it up. Far out, man. Over the rocks into the pole. Oh, Alex, man. little lofty bid. And those rocks, they're like at three meters, but you always hit them and bounce back to four it's meters. And okay. all of a sudden, you're in Evelyn Salonen range. <laughs> <laughs> Which is not a good range to be in, boys. Uh, oh, oh David. looks good. Oh, oh was that band or chains? Nah, it's just a bit nah. short. Just catch a think. Trail, yeah, yeah, that's what I meant. Trail chains. So Dylan, let's kick things off with a birdie. Oh, Ooh, he's had a couple left. of those. He's thinking any chance of hitting right side for a change? Come on. 
And he just puts so hard too, it's got no chance. Yeah. Here we've got Alex with his Good AVRs. Bar, AVRs? I think they're, are they KCs? He changes, Alex. Mm. Oh. Change from day to day depending on how he's feeling. Firebird Fire then. Puts a few uh, putters in the sin bin if they haven't been doing the work for him. <laughs> he's very close on a lot of putts in round one. Let's see a par frame to kick things off. We'll move on to hole two. All right. 123 metre. Par three. Got to flex one out there. Hit this line and fade back to the pin. Or there is a bit of a forehand line, but you probably won't see too many, many people take it. Oh, we're zooming in Ooh. on the socks. What are we seeing? What are we working with here? He loves his socks, Dill. Generally have pineapples on there or like something tomatoes? fruity. They yeah. look, like, look like they're in the fruit family. Yep. Well, tomatoes are a fruit, aren't they? That's true. Ooh. Thanks for that, Dr. Fergs. <laughs> You're welcome. As we scoot around the right-hand side. It's gone. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So he just loves going through Vs. Is that a thing that you should say on comms? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, just did. <laughs> there's, there's another <laughs> sentence didn't think you'd Let's say today, Let's move too. on. As we see, Dave oh. Perry. A little skinny, but this should wrap up in C2. Yeah, it's safe out there for a putt. Just outside C1, in fact. Yeah, about 14, 15 metres. Don't mind that. Got to flex this tee shot, and there is a tree on the right that's always in my mind. Well, that's oh. a lot of flex... Oh, needed for this thing in this. Yeah. Good. That looks great. Come on. Get some stability. He's done it again. He absolutely yeah. parked oh. this one in round one. And he's got to take a step further back and oh, Bainey. hit a two meter one. He's showing us the forehand line. Oh, Fergie, I'm excited. Hey, I mean, good so on was you. he going. You really don't need to do it, but it's fine. Is he yeah, going out it. to the right with the flex or is he going through the skinny gap? No, I thought he was going with the skinny. He's going skinny. Come on. Do it. Fergie hates a forehand hole. Oh, no. Oh. So he's no. turning it over. This is awesome. Yeah, this a little right. overstable. Or he's hit the big fat yeah. tree, settling down at about 17 metres. It's good height. That I, don't, was, I don't hate the holes. I just, yeah. they hate me. That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> little straddle out. Oh, little pokey Toro. Baney's my age and he shouldn't be able to do the splits. <laughs> Come on, Baney. Fair dinkum. <laughs> How old is that? No, he's yeah. actually a bit younger, I think. <laughs> he's only 78. Dave. Oh. Yeah. Uh, no. Uh, that was an air ball. We're just going to yep. look past that from Dave. Yeah. Yep. The basket's right, to. right to the right of where you threw, Dave. Yeah. <laughs> so we see Dill. Dill with another opportunity. Oh, he's done it again. <sighs> oh. Any danger of hitting the right side is what he's thinking. Baney pretending to care in the background there. <laughs> look at Alex. <laughs> <laughs> just like, can I throw yet? Like, I've got a two meter putt. When's it my turn? Was, like, was that a kookaburra? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Perry, we, we still haven't got to Alex. That's how parked he is. We need bad disc off lip reading. You know yeah. that in the NFL videos? Yeah. We need that. <laughs> oh, okay. Nice little tap in. I just really want to do it now. <laughs> 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 Alex is like, oh, finally. Boys, this is how you put green on the scorecard. Don't caged it. No, he's done. Jeez, so. <laughs> it came out a little right. <laughs> Far out if he had a... No. There we go. Great bird Spying things Alex. up with Dave Perry at six down, just one behind Dill. All right. So we move on to hole three. Boys, this is a good hole. Very tricky par four. Still don't know what he's got on those socks. So you've got to hit this gap off the box. A nice flex forehand is really good. Get around this little wonky curved tree on our right-hand side. Settle up somewhere here, and that'll leave you with a low backhand skip shot into a very protected basket. Of course, you can throw whatever shot you like on this hole. It's a very, very tough one. Good birdie to get if you can get it. Do you see many rollers on this hole, do you think, boys? I was about to say. Mm -hmm. I've, last few times I've played, I've actually gone roller out early. If you look at out the T, early. yeah, out early to the right. If you mm. look at the T sign, it just says don't go left. Don't be pulled left into the prickles. Yeah, mm. being in the middle of the fairway is also a good option. Beautiful, Alex is chosen. There's tent city behind Dylan, as we can see. Lots of campers staying for the Vic Open. Bit of raised tent city, maybe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's There's a, a come see what we throw back. <laughs> Americans getting none oh. of these bad oh, Aussie jokes. Let that so Maverick it. out too left. It had no chance to really kind of. Do the flexing turn that he hoped for. Dave, I reckon he's going the, what, backhand? Yeah. Yeah, the backhand's nice to get you further down the fairway. 
it's good strat, but if you hit any of the trees with a backhand, it's just shooting you straight left. And then mm. all of a sudden, your second shot's looking very forehand rollery, which is never, ever a good thing. This is a little skinny. Yeah, if it's got the height to get that it's pretty good though. corner there. In fact, it's better than pretty good. Yeah. That is fantastic. Yeah, yeah okay. Don't know if He's that was really look. the intention to let it out that left with that much turn, but you take it. This is the, probably the, the more common route, even though we haven't seen it so far on lead cards. The low forehand. Yeah, to have something either sit in the middle or flare out really hard and get you on the, um, the ball golf fairway, absolute money. That's yoinked, though, from oh, Baney. And oh, no, that is a great it's tree. Disc. It's just so stable. That was actually just... <laughs> That's a great tree. Does he call friendly on his own shots? Because I think he might have. He got it. That was a really good kick out to the right. right. That was a genuine question. I've just never noticed it. Yeah, no, I saw Dill get a birdie opportunity from here last time. Oh, oh no. That is a Not no. this time. Yeah. Jeez, he nearly did that. <laughs> Yeah, it's going to be I don't know that Being in that exact spot Can be a pretty tricky Up and down as well So Bainey Going with the backhand This is looking fantastic Ooh yeah Big skip Come on Needs to avoid Some rabbit burrows Ooh, Ooh. Yeah I think he's there Oh is yeah he, Has oh, he, he is landed there? Yeah 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 Oh I thought he landed In the, like the fork In that tree there That's going to be A great spot to putt from Inside circle I think Yeah, yeah. Oh mate oh, He's inside in bullseye. three meters Three meters Yeah this looks a bit straight from Alex. Yeah, he might get a little lucky Ooh. skip off the... He did. I yeah. didn't expect to yeah. see such a sharp skip there. Very nice. And Dave, with the best drive of the lot... Something Tup. super high speed for such a short distance. Tough angle. Get the big skip. Oh, yes. Oh, oh see, yes. These, these guys back in this hole look too easy. I mean, Dave did all the work on that drive. That was mm. like a full flight, you know, S-shaped backhand off the box. That's so good. Yeah, Dill's got to get this close. He's taken on a V in the tree, if I do say so. Surprise, surprise. Ooh, Ooh a little glance. glance. Safe to say he got that close. That can easily be a bogey there. Like that is just a very tricky upshot. I'm not that good. Maybe you went left of the V, is what he was saying there. Mm. Right. And Dill, you actually are that good, mate. <laughs> like, when's the last time you watched yourself play? <laughs> Alex dealing with a little pesky branch in his face. Oh, yes. Oh, Means nothing, oh, though. Oh, yes. Right. What a part. Yeah. Second time in a row, he's gone birdie birdie through hole two and three. He's Very impressive. He's tied things up. He's like, these boys think they're good. I'm all of a sudden T1. There we go. That's on the pole deal. Perry with. Uh this is a birdie putt, isn't it? Yeah, a chance to also tie things up. Oh, here we go, boys. We're heating up. Three players all locked up at seven down. This is what you want to see. I'm just... Uh, Bainey oh, as well. It's going to be two back at five down. The T-shirt uh, Luke Feldman is wearing there. Oh, That's Dylan, a Dylan's caddy, yes. Bit that, of throwback. That is a circa, massive throwback. Circa 2000 and maybe 11? Yeah, Vic Open. Yeah. Oof. Dig it. That's representing. Oz Discs. Powering Team Heiser Flight. Check him out at ozdiscs.com.au. All right, Art. All right, here we go. Hole four, 93 metres, a par three. You've got a, a basket sitting up on this, um, yeah, very difficult fast green with a, a dirty, dirty, muddy dam next to it. Cafe <laughs> a la Invali. <laughs> Ever been for a swim in there, Fergs? No, I haven't. No, I just leave my discs in there. I uh -huh. came out with an extra toe. <laughs> <laughs> Alex went I'm this. I mean, are we watching Shame round one? Toe. He's just like a robot at this yeah, stage. That's like wow. the exact same drive from the first round. He laid it up in round one. Let's see if he's got the Werewolves Rancheros to uh, go for the run there. Now, Perry, is he got uh, This looks 
Looks like a mid, eh? Like a mid. And I kind of dig this. Yeah, maybe. I wonder what he's throwing. Because mo- most people will throw like your not sort of nine speed, overstable, firebird, pioneer type disc. David Perry is not most people. He's hanging, hanging out right over the OB dam. And oh, look at this. Wow. Needs to settle. Set. Oh, that just held on by the skin of its teeth. Lovely. Ash. Delighted to say that one's inbounds. How many did you is see that? hit that like round and mm. just go straight OB? I'm just I'm just wondering where this inbounds uh, movements come from. I think that's a it's a baseball baseball. That's thing. baseball. Yep. Right. Okay. Funnily enough, it's like the exact opposite meaning in AFL Aussie Rules football. That <laughs> that symbol means out of bounds on the full. <laughs> but we. Oh, this is going to be close. And that uh, is out of bounds on the full. Yeah. Out of bounds. Ooh, she on the wet full. too. Oh boy. That is a Macca's drive through. <laughs> that's. that's that's uh, mil- that's white with two sugars. Look at this shit from De- uh, sh- this shot from Dell, I should say, <laughs> hanging it out too far to the right. I was no, right I think the- you're right the first time. <laughs> I was right the first time. And uh, uh, watch him can it. Oh, uh, is he no, going for it? You can't run that's this. So, I oh, know. Yeah, okay. Fantastic yeah. layup. Not a fan of this drop zone. I think uh, you can't really run this, and it's just a pretty hard layup too. To be honest, you're going to hit the mound and hopefully not roll back into the water. I've got to shout out Ryan Hart, who did run it and canned it. No way. Yep. Oh. Baney, lofty oh. little bid there. Jeez, I thought he nailed that. <laughs> I mean, today's the day to do it. There's a very low breeze out today, but on any other given invalid day, zero chance. Yeah. Oh, oh, here we go. It's rolling. It's wrapping up. No, oh. that's not a problem. It's the right side to roll down, that's for sure. Now, where did Alex get to? Dave's first to act, so Alex must be very close. Oh, that is a putt. Actually, yeah. that is a putt. Hit a nice one in round one as well. Good to see a few spectators out watching the boys shred. Yeah. Alex with just about four metres on this one. Yeah, considerably closer than yesterday. How are you feeling on this, boys? You a little bit nervy? <laughs> nah. Nah. Straight. Yeah. Can that in. Sure. There's a turkey. I mean, I maybe would have gone with my backup putter just in case, but nah, I'd never do that. What am I talking? <laughs> I think we might be looking at watermelons on Dillard's socks. Is that right? Or they some sort of pie? A cup of soup? I don't know. What? Dill? Far out. What Next up, hole five. Now, the drone is flying straight down the line that uh, not many people take. Typically, you will see people play the big highs a line, either high or low and skipping into the basket. But uh, Alex Canaston does not do that. He goes straight for the pin. Look at all those trees. A little high. Ooh, oh, yep. And there's one of them. It's going to quickly learn that the wide to the right highs a route is the play. Yeah. Especially with his power, you just think. I mean, it's a safe. It's a, it's a safe one. It's one of those things where, I don't know, your, your birdie percentage probably goes down, but your bogey percentage goes considerably yeah. down. So, As a, uh, you know... As one of the course designers of this, I love that he takes the straight line. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, definitely not, maybe not the smarter play. I think as well, too, like it, it has opened up on the right-hand side a little bit since the course was, like, installed, so. It's, it's a good attempt from Dave. It's yeah. a bit right. Oh, a little too yeah. long. Oh, it's quite oh, prickly. He's yep. going to get a prickly bum. Those acacia bushes. I actually have like particular attire that I wear out here because I know that uh, <laughs> I don't want to get a case in all of my clothes, yeah. just my invalid clothes. <laughs> yeah, are we Once see- they're in there, it doesn't go away. Are we seeing the change up? Yeah. Dylan's going down the guts. Okay. Okay. All right. He's not th- had the hottest start. This is an interesting uh, choice here. Is he going with a mid here or like a you know, low-speed fairway driver? Oh, that is – yeah. I reckon he's lucky that he didn't hit that first group too. Yeah, absolutely. Kind of surprised by that. I just mm. would have thought he would have taken the higher percentage, safer right hand uh, this route. Is a bit early from Bainey. He's uh, probably deep circle two look there. Good drive though. Yeah. So deal with the pattern pending. Bit of an awkward upshot here. Oh. It's done a great Go in. job. Oh. It's whizzing past and that might have just got outside C1. Mm. So Alex actually landed in a great spot after hitting a fairly early tree. He's got a little forehand toro into the green. Yeah, lovely. A little long as well, but that shouldn't be any problem with his skill set. So let's see how close Bane he got. I think he's got yeah, a very good a chance. chance on this one. Oh, a little lofty bid. Yeah. I like qu- it. Not quite as committed. 
just off his line a little bit, faded a little early. So Dave, awkward spot, can't really run this one, tapping in the par. Now this this is a big tester. So he's just lost the lead and oh, oh wow. that was very left. He has been left today, hasn't he? Mm. Boys, I'm also seeing Luke Feldman with a tee off bucket hat yes. on. Yes. Represent. Luke. Okay. This this is probably the only place that someone's gonna comment on your fashion saying it's fantastic, <laughs> mate. I, I can tell you what as well. Luke is the only dad from ten years ago that still fits the same shirt. I just wanna say a thousand percent. The bucket hats. We were wearing them before Joey Buckets made them cool. Yeah. Just so you know. Joey who? <laughs> Maybe we should send him one. I think we should. <laughs> Baby. Oh, baby. Oh, I playing mind games. Trying to play suck him oh. <laughs> Don't miss. It's, Don't it's, miss. See, just do this. Yeah, and then oh, put it in. That's right. <laughs> let's practice part. Uh, let's stroke the man. Strokes. Strokes. Move on. Strokes on, folks. <laughs> so we have a peek at hole six, the first of two par fives. 304 metres. You want to get through this tunnel out onto the golf fairway in one shot. Then you've got a big shot down here to the second corner. You want to try and push these trees, go a little bit further right than the drone for the most open route. You've got a very protected basket hiding its way here. Tough hole, this one. Yeah, it's a very, very tough hole. And Alex... Ooh, that's a lot of flex. He did this on the on the last round and he's got through again this time. Fantastic. Oh, that's huge. What is that thing? Stable. How far yeah. is the carry, you reckon, with the forehand to get out of this tunnel? Oh, wow. 110, 120? Yeah. Take some distance, that's for sure. And it's like kind of a little uphill, but you've got a low ceiling. So the flex is a good option. Dave made it look so short in round one. He's just got a cannon of a forehand. I don't mind the um, backhand roller as well on this hole. I don't mind the school shoes and the, uh, <laughs> and the, the grey school socks. <laughs> we may have seen this before. So that's oh. all highs though. Is that going to get out there? I think and it's going to get the early ones. Yeah. yeah. That should be okay though. He yeah. kicked off the tree. He's got to run up. Dylan and he should be close enough to hit those gaps and cut the corner. Did he go on the sky again? He wants it. Yeah, he is. Let's do it. Yeah, he is. He made the Ooh. mistake. Oh, it's low, but it's good. This is big. Yeah. This is big. Is it going to roll? It looked like it was... Oh, it's hit oh, a tree. Okay. No. Nah. Yeah. Still out there. Such a risky shot. He made it look so good in round one, and that was a good attempt as well. Baney with the forehand. He's got more than enough power to pump this out there. I think this one is his uh, Halo Destroyer as well. Can throw this disc an absolute mile. Oh, oh that's yeah. good. Look at that thing. Nicely around the last tree or just... Oh, no. Okay. No, we were yeah, deceived. Right. If Bainey's coming in short, then it's a big forehand out, boys, because mm. he's got a lot of power. So, so Dave, going to have to cut the corner here. Oh, oh no. Oh. oh, that was disgusting. That's a lot of gum tree. Good what? line, just too high. The iron uh, gum leaf, eh? The iron gum leaf. Ooh. Oh, this is, this is looking not good. rough. If you go skinny here, this is like not only Ugh. a very difficult set, a third shot, but it's almost lost disc potential. It's so hard to actually access your disc there. And your relief, if you're going to take relief, is uh, not good. This is looking good from Alex. Needs to fight. Mm, this might give the... Pushing the green. green. No, that's no. and that's perfect. Yeah, going good spot. The longer you go, you are taking that golf ring on, but you are opening the the nice back, uh, you know, the, the the back lane into the basket, which is exactly mm. what you want. Yeah, there's not too many avenues through those trees, uh, but Alex has found one. It's going in the turn of a forehand. No, the, sorry, thought he was further up the fairway. Yeah, that's great. Maybe a touch short, but he should have that um, that tighter line to. Punch through to the green. She has a tricky line, that backhand in, though. Dave looking to bite off this corner. You don't want to get in left because you have nothing. And that's exactly what he's done, unfortunately. Yeah. Mm. That spot there, I've mm. been there many a times. I've taken away a lot of prickles from that little corner, and it's awkward. He's going to have a forehand turnover oh. from there. Oh, oh, the tra oh. <laughs> as we see the replay <laughs> on the head bump, the past cameras don't miss a thing. I that's a sloppy. That's a stroke. I'm pretty sure Bainey pushed him into it then. <laughs> <laughs> i to look at it again. Oh, it's, boy. I'll tell you what, I reckon, have we seen a replay on one putt? But no. <laughs> no, we'll, no. Get a, we'll get a head knock. <laughs> Dave hits his head. 
<laughs> it's so wooded in Valley that you can't even walk past the trees without hitting one. <laughs> <laughs> that should be on the sign. Oh, Alex. Oh, the stick did no good either. Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> As we look at a wild Dylan out in its natural habitat, the acacia bush. Oh, okay. And I think he's uh, just moving house to another nest in the acacia bush. Yeah. So Dave, smart boy putting the disc down because you don't want acacia in your kneecap. It's everywhere, boys. These needles, mm. yeah. very prickly. This is a nice attempt though. It's one of the best forms of natural OB. Nose up, turnover, forehand, stall shot. Very, very hard to do. There you go. Picking out a needle. (laughs) Where do tweezers at is what he's thinking. Here we go. Another wild dill. Crikey. Oh, What's his three? And look. Into the juvenile acacia bushes. They're extra extra spicy, those ones. I'm just going to assume that was another wild dillon. And he's made it. We're in C1. Putting for bogey, I believe. So, Alex, he's come up a little short after hitting that stick, but does have a long look for the birdie. Oh, from the ant nest. Going full and highs up. Oh. oh, that looked like a very good bid. Goodness me. Gee whiz. <laughs> <laughs> oh. We need some more disc golf bad lip reading there. Actually, I reckon that was Luke Bain before. Yeah, you might have been right, actually. He was early as well, as we yeah. see. Oh. Dill, this is uh, racking up a bit. I'm going to need the calculator out to work out the scores here. Yeah, I've got... <laughs> well and truly lost track. I've got no idea whether this is for eagle or for double oh, bogey. Oh, no, it's par. Great. That looks high and right, but what a fantastic... Just faded right at the right moment and a good par for Dave Perry. I can see not a breath of wind. You take a par on hole six. Mm. Oh, oh, that no. was... That was gross. Way. Replay that one oh. far out. Oh, good Lord, Fergie. That's you yeah. are the designer of the baskets. Can we get a <laughs> refund? <laughs> I, I, get them out. The baskets... Uh, get them out, Fergs. They do well. What, there is a new version, though, what which was, is... Uh, what was that? Which would have eaten that up. <laughs> what <Scrambling>. was that? <laughs> why why <laughs> is Luke's yellow frisbee on the ground? <laughs> Fergie, what on earth was that? I don't know. I don't know. That you can't was, win them all. You can't win them all. disgusting. That spit out. <laughs> So Dylan, after oh, all that, no. is in for the bogey. Alex also, unfortunately, in for the bogey. And Bainey, oh boy, he's angry. He's eyeing <laughs> off the basket. <laughs> he's like, yeah, you're not uh, getting your chains. You're not getting a piece of me, bogey. Wow. <laughs> that that <is laughs> ended up being a very big putt from Dave Perry. All right, hole seven, 343 metre par five. This one is big and long. You definitely uh, want to keep it in the middle of the fairway, though, because you can get into into trouble if you're left and right. Oh, she a nice, big, fat fairway. I'd love to land on it one day. So we see Dave using the elevated pad to put a nice, oh, big turn on the back end. Look at that thing. So does he get the cameras moving around? Gave him a little scare. Beautiful spot to land on. Sensational. Alex now, he is the junior distance champion. I want to see it. Nope. nope. That's fading out early. I mean, the pad, the pad, this pad. I've got some beef. It, this is, pad. it is one of the, the most hated pads, actually. I got beef. She elevated. She a little short to be elevated, and she's a little nose up too, so it does make the back end a little bit dicey. My, to the point where I saw uh, Austin D'Alessandro sort of stand still on it. He yeah, hated well, it that much. Really? Like, I think in yeah, prior years, bad. Dave Perry would go, he'd just down, go T-Bird, just keep it straight because, yeah, it does, it does invite a lot of air under your disc. Ooh. Baney, a little... I like this. Turned over a little early, but this is flexing out nicely. Yeah. Beautiful shot. It's big. Another strategy is just throw a forehand off the box, attack on the second shot. As long as you're yeah. on the fairway. Ooh, oh, roll up. Here we go. I like it. Attacking. It needs to keep, hold its cut, and it's not. It's Hopefully it hits one of those trees and it's just stuck in that little spot there. Yeah, it's a pretty it. stable disc, actually. I like it. Not a bad attempt. Need a little yeah. bit more cut. That won't be too bad where he is. Hopefully he's got a run up and a throw, though. 
Yeah, Bainey just playing for position. Seen a lot Smart. of a lot of uh, graceful pirouette action on his uh, backhands there. Ballerina Bainey. What do you reckon? Can we coin that one? <laughs> Barbie, Barbie Bainey. <laughs> Dave, very low. Still turned over. Yeah, not quite the best shot, but... Yeah, still be in position. Just depends if he's stuck behind that tree. Oh, Bainey, <laughs> the Magnum P.I. Mo. <laughs> Fergs, you're a mustache, Oh, there you go, Dylan. Oh, with go, the Dil. crap. Oh, that's so good. That's just his family. His direct family. <laughs> Legit. One of his 19 siblings. <laughs> I didn't actually know Bainey had a mo. I thought oh, he was just oh, a little boy. Uh-oh. Put the sign away, guys. <laughs> so, yeah, no. so I hear Luke Feldman's just getting in the car as we speak, yeah. <laughs> driving home. The bad luck charms coming to the fore here. Ooh, forward skip. Come on. This is looking good. Oh, oh man. I that robbed him of a good five yeah. metres. That's all right, though. He's in C2 for the putt. Alex, yeah, this is looking dicey. Get through the trees. Uh, yeah, that was a very awkward. Looks like he was going another backhand know, roller. Yeah. Dylan. Oh, Dylan's oh, doing wow. the same thing. This looks like it's going to wrap up. Oh, man, that hurt my back watching that. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, right. I mean, you could have got there with just like a forehand, but for sure, backhand roller, no worries. Oh, oh. this is turned. It's fighting back, though. Get under that limb, around the back. That's okay. Maybe. That's going to be a C2 putt. Yeah. I reckon, is Bainey up next, just sitting pretty in the oh, middle? Here he is, Magnum PI. <laughs> Absolutely I didn't actually is. think it was a moustache. I thought he just had some chocolate milk. <laughs> um. <laughs> so you're saying put a bit of beef on the moustache. Oh, just let it go, mate. Thicken, thicken grow it. it up. If you're going to grow it, grow it. <laughs> oh. So we see Dylan with the nice oh. upshot in. It's fighting through some leaves, wrapping up at around about the five-metre mark. So Dave... Taking the knee. Oof. Oh, not quite. Boys, Ooh. we are What's seeing, that? we're almost at the end of the front nine. We're seeing some struggles here. That we are. We saw some absolute fire on the front nine of round oh. one. Oh. And just as we speak, hey. Luke Bain. They catch there those ones go. and no one says anything. <laughs> yeah, <Bain>. that's <laughs> it. <laughs> it's nice when the basket does its job, isn't it, Bainey? Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Disc Doctor. <laughs> Sponsor of Bainey there, no doubt, helping that happen. Oh, Ooh. and Alex with the Heiser right. bid from through the Prickly acacia bush. Tree. He's looking for something to hit there. Don't do it, mate. You're just going to get thistles in your fingers. Good Dylan in for the Dylan. par. Good save after playing a bit of soldier golf down the fairway. Left, right, left, right. A couple of, actually, yeah, he's done, done right to get the par. Absolutely. There's a couple of shanks. That he has, because mm. uh, Alex, unfortunately, could not. Got mm. the bogey. All right. Next up, hole eight. Par three in trees. 103 metre. You'll see uh, a couple of forehands here trying to hit a very tight line to skip back to this elevated basket. But I think the play is a understable backhand to heise a flip and get it to sit down there. But see what these boys can do. Little skinny has to beat to that last oh. tree, and it has. He's going to have a uh, outside the C1 putt to a very elevated pyramid basket, as you can see here. That's going to be a fun one to watch. Po Pody's pyramid. Pody's <laughs> pyramid. Pody's pyramid. Putting on Pody's pyramid. There you there go. You. That's fantastic alliteration. I was going to say that's it's a uh, it's really about the best of forehand. We'll get you on this hole, I yeah. reckon. You, you boys tried your darndest to make a backhand turnover hole, didn't you? Well, yeah, we you did. tried your darndest. It's a flip up um, forehand. It's flip yeah. up. Flip up. Who yeah. flips up forehands? Exactly. Oh, oh, Perry. Does. <laughs> it's not a bad flip up <laughs> forehand. <laughs> Damn it. He uh, gets no reward. That's going to be... It's not a, a putt you can run from there, I don't like think. a low flip up forehand. How often do you have a hole that makes you do that? Sexy. Mm. It's not sexy. Let's be, <laughs> let's be real here. Oh, it says the guy who throws jank forehands all day. <laughs> Mate. And here we go, Dill, with the backhand turnover. Ooh, the only reason I don't like height? it is because you've got to get past these last trees. Yeah, it's a good line. that far down the fairway, I feel like it's a bit of a lucky dip. A little bit low from Dill. Alex, I think he was tossing up between a backhand and forehand there, but off to the backhand. This looks like a f maybe a fairway driver, do you think? Or I think so. I think yeah. maybe... Is it the back end maybe better with a mid? I'm not too sure. Oh, that's a nice line. Keep going, keep going, keep going. 
Oh, there we go. Yeah, great shot. Just needed a touch more height to get parked, but he's maybe just just on the edge of circle, yeah. and that's going to be a nervy putt. How high is this basket? Mm. She a big one. Two meters. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, about that. To the to the top of the cage. Yeah. What did Luke want? Three. Three. Oh, oh he, he wanted high. it so high. <laughs> he wanted like an escalator up to the basket. He he was attempting to rebuild the pyramid of Giza. <laughs> <laughs> Dylan giving it a lot. Oh, oh, far out. It did look good. <laughs> yeah, he liked it. He liked it. And he's in regret town. <laughs> know the feeling, Dill. So, Alex, a little closer. He's got that nice, like, heiser putt, so he can give this a, a bit of an honest bid. Nope, he didn't like it. Either. And nope. uh, he knows pretty early on if he's hitting it or not. Baney licking his chops to close the gap. Please Just catch. Thinking only of spit outs. Oh, oh yeah. no. Yes. Fantastic. I, I'm just glad those last two but, putts <laughs> catched. <laughs> Caught. Caught. So. <laughs> yeah. You can stop crafting that email to Baney. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a very good putt from Baney. That was certainly nervy. And oh. a good one from Alex too, oh. catching the very far right chain and dropping in. That's a very underrated par putt. Yeah, absolutely. Like, from the knee, prick a bush in your butthole. Yeah, Dylan's got much the same. Oh, Ooh. yes. That very far right chain link doing work for the boys. Dylan's immediate family goes nuts. <laughs> and look at the log jam we've got here. Baney at five, two boys at six, and Dave outright at seven down as we had take a peek at hole nine, 209 metre par four. Want to throw a backhand or a forehand that just gets through these trees right here, settles up in the fairway. From there, you've got a nice open shot with an OB sand scrape green and OB behind the basket. Little mound giving us something to think about when we're putting as well. This one's got a little bit of height from Bainey, but I think he's managed to get out safe. Yep. Yeah, mm, it's a little short though, eh? Pretty short. It's going to take a massive shot. So get the birdie. And it sort of brings in that golf green. It's nicely placed, that golf green. Make you think about whether you go for it or just lay up short. Some might say the basket was nicely placed. Yeah. Hey, this is, this is a perler. <laughs> this is I've said it once and I'll say it again. The par fours at Inverley absolutely slap. They are just fantastic holes. They actually designed the golf course around the disc golf course. <laughs> 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 Makes sense. Oh, I like this from Dave, but... My, yeah... Would have liked to see another 10 metres on it, but uh, that, that'll, that'll give him a chance at uh, getting to the green. I mean, how was the shot he threw in his second on round one? <laughs> I mean, he's got the forehand to get there from yeah. anywhere. Dylan, I reckon this will be a B pro, maybe. I'm going to give this a roost. Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, if it's a B pro, it's a seasoned one because that flipped up nicely and it's turned. Are you serious? And wow. look at that. He's gone so far right. He might be able to take the back door route in. So That's huge. Okay. Taking on the OB with a yeah. backhand hyzer around the trees. Wild. Man. That might be his best option from there. Not a spot many people get to. No. What, what do you reckon? That's 500 feet? At least. 140? Uh, no, no, 150? Probably, probably, yeah, probably 500. You're probably right. It's got to get down. Oh, it's hit it. Yeah. And that is a very early result there. But at least he's in the open. You can sort of break this down with two backhands. That's a little yoink, though. Oh, it's coming oh, back. She's going to challenge the open. No, no, it's too short. Hit a log. Hopefully, he's got the forehand line from there. He may be a little bit pinched. We'll have to see. I tell you what, if Bainey gets there with a forehand, this is massive. Yeah, slightly uphill. It's I mean, got to be at least one twenty. He's got it if he gets onto it. Let's see if he how aggressive he is. Oh, he went oh. for it, but just into the breeze. There is a sand green out there. Oof. That's yeah. not a uh, part of the course we play disc golf no. on, but I don't think there's an EOB out there. So just got a, away with one there. Just the green, but yeah, I right. don't think he's there. I think he's on the golf tee. It's a bit oh. nose up from Perry. Oh, is this short? No. No, it's great. Yep. Maybe a little short right. I think he'll be about edge of circle, maybe nine metres. Okay, here we go. All right, he's going He's going over the OB to a get back. A spike hyzer into hole nine's basket. I never In thought bounce. I'd see it. And look at that. Oh, yeah. He's parked. Goodness oh, mate. maybe six metres. Yeah, a bit short, I think. But um, that is he's got a look. And he needs a look for a birdie. So Alex, with a standstill forehand, needs to put this close to save the par. 
Looks Ooh. skinny. Oh, I don't hate it. Yeah, I don't know what you're doing. Oh, yeah, mate. It's fine. Not a problem at all. See, Bainey on some part of the course, I didn't know you didn't yeah. end up on on hole nine with the forehand. Toro in. Oof. Looked good. Oh, and he's got Sit the down. little stand up and roll. There is OB right there, but it's settled down. Whoever's shadow that is was praying <laughs> for it to settle down. <laughs> So oh, oh, no. not a, yeah, not, it's funny how one meter of this mound. Yep. Yeah, he hates it. Yeah, it's funny how that one meter just somehow makes this basket so much scarier to put on. Oh, Dill. oh, and sit, and she rolling too. Oh boy, don't pick your mini up, Dill. You might be just putting from that same spot. Take a breath. Take yep. two from a similar range. He's looking at the basket, looking at OB, straight yeah. in. Nicely done, Dill. Good part, but not the front nine that he wanted, really. Yeah, very. He's one over. So what? Was it eight pars and a bogey for Dill? Mm. Perry for the Ooh. birdie. Ooh. Yeah. birdie. Stayed in that one. That's Sees him take the lead, too. Yeah. Eight down. It'll be two strokes clear. Yeah, very nice. Alex in for the par, nicely done. And Bainey, unfortunately, will have to be dropping in a bogey as he finishes the back nine snack time snack he's digging into. What's a good one for you boys? What are you eating at hole nine? Oh, a little bit of trail mix, I reckon. Oh, Banana. Boy. Banana. Give, me some, give me some chockies any day of the week. All right. So, yeah, not the front nine. Dylan wanted with a one over six. Dave Perry keeping it clean in two birdies gets him to eight and a two-stroke lead. Alex with a six and, yeah, Bainey with a four. Let's hopefully we see some green on the back nine. Fergie. Big thanks to Park Media and the boys for creating this coverage from uh, Gatekeeper Media and sharing it to the world. I'm Andrew Ferguson. I'm with Timmy Bowen, Paddy Robinson. We're the Tee Off podcast on the comms again for this 2024 Vic Open.